I think it's already been like two years. It's crazy how fast time flies by. But about two years ago, I decided to start keeping a dream journal again, identifying dream signs, and actively pursuing the lucid dream state. And um, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Right now, for months and months and months, I have not been doing that at all. In fact, I've hardly been remembering my dreams recently, given my day-to-day -day lifestyle and, I guess, decision-making, the choices I'm making with how I live. And that's okay. But I've been thinking about it and looking through some of these journals, and the most, the most powerful, the most emotionally deep and just the strongest experiences and some of my favorite dreams that I have had have all been in the normal dreaming state. Dreams in which I believe they are actually happening. I am not aware of the fact that I am in a dream. I can, uh, I mean, I can wake up sometimes laughing from a dream like that or, um, even in a more powerful way, I wake up from a tragic dream and I cry. A very just profoundly tragic situation that I was a part of. A part of. And sometimes, oftentimes, these dreams that are, again, not lucid dreams, but regular dreams that I believe are real at the time they're happening, they do actually reveal oftentimes deeper feelings or thoughts or perspectives or just things that are going on in the background of my mind or maybe sometimes emotions that I push down or I try to ignore they come up in these dreams and they're highlighted and there's incredible value in that and just maybe from a, a more like romantic viewpoint I cherish these dreams more in comparison to the average lucid dream. When it comes to the lucid dreaming state, and I'm again reading the notes that I've taken on these experiences that I've had recently and in the past, and just knowing from my own memory the difference, the lucid dream state offers for me a lot of excitement, and I might wake up and be really happy, and almost... I'm like fulfilled that the the work, if you can call it work, it's not much work, but the taking the notes, the writing your dreams down, identifying dream signs, doing reality checks, all this stuff, when it pays off and I have a lucid dream and then I wake up from it, I feel this sense of fulfillment, like all of that, all of the things that I did have paid off. So there's that, there's a lot of excitement in the moment and it's very deeply fascinating. For example... Out of all the things, I mean, flying or using telekinesis or, or whatever I might do um, in a lucid dream, what stands out to me the most from that state are these experiences I have where I realize I'm in a dream and I decide to just continue along or maybe just sit where I'm at or stand where I'm at and almost engage in a mindfulness practice I become aware of my breathing I become aware of any smells any sights any sounds any temperatures or sensations on my skin I kind of just try to be in that moment and that to me is what's the most fascinating part about the lucid dream experience because it feels exactly like this it feels exactly like being awake sometimes almost hyper realistic almost more real than reality like i can feel very grounded in those states um and to sit and watch things change before my eyes it's fascinating um i often ultimately will end up either waking up from that or the dream takes hold again something there's a threat of violence a threat of something and then i go right back into it um, 
but yeah, I mean, it's just that in the past, in lucid dreaming, that was the state of being in a lucid dream, whether you just sit there, like I just said, or if you fly around, or if you um, manifest some sexual fantasy experience that that you wanted to have. I mean, anything that you can think of doing, doing all of that stuff is fascinating and it's exciting and it's fun. But it's almost, in a way, for me, void of any emotional um, gratification or any emotional, any feeling, really. The feelings I have are, again, excitement, and that's about it. <laughs> it's just excitement and then feeling, I don't know what it is, proud of myself for the work that I did. This is after I wake up, though. But these actual dreams that are non-lucid, they tend to be so much more profound. They affect me more. And when it's all said and done, even though there might be outliers, uh, outlier experiences, I actually prefer the non-lucid state. I prefer the dreams that I have. They're more interesting. There's, there's more emotional depth they might, they're more bizarre oftentimes. Um, and I don't know why I felt like talking about this. I think it's just that in the past, I almost put the, um, the lucid dream experience on a pedestal or something like that. And I was really, I mean, that's the goal. That That's the goal when I decide to keep a dream journal and to keep track of all these things, and the goal is that I increase the frequency of these lucid dreaming states. And to be honest, I haven't exper uh, experimented as much as I could, and maybe there's no end to the experimentation that one can do with lucid dreams. I'm not trying to act like, oh, I've been there, done that, and I prefer regular dreams, but given the experience that I have had, I, I cherish the memories of these other dreams a lot more. <laughs> and as I sit here, I think about, uh, and I'm as I speak like this about dreams, I think about the people I know who could give a fuck less about any of this. And they don't care about dreams. They'll tell you they don't dream. And all of this is just a waste of time. But for me, I'm, I'm fascinated by the, the dreaming state. It's amazing. The things that I have felt, the things that I've seen, the experiences that I've had. Because, um, again, unfortunately, recently I haven't been keeping a dream journal and I've been living a, a different lifestyle, I guess, that I haven't been holding on to many memories from my dreams when I wake up. But when I do stay on top of a dream journal, I'm actually bringing back memories it's almost like I am living a life and I have two times the amount of memories. And they stay with me. They stay with me as if they were a real memory. It's as though the experience in the dream from last night is like something that I did yesterday. When I really stay on top of it and I let the momentum kind of build up and I have a sharp, trained dream recall, the ability to recall the, uh, the memories from the dreams... I have like double the amount of <laughs> of memories uh, on a on a daily or a weekly or monthly basis. It's like I'm living two lives. And something interesting, uh, maybe it could be considered a negative side effect of a very sharp and capable dream recall ability. Um, again, just speaking about regular dreams, I might have a disturbing dream um, something that provokes very uncomfortable feelings and not necessarily sadness but that could be in there just disturbing I might see something sick and twisted and maybe again tied into that might be some emotional trauma or some deep feelings of sadness when I'm in the dream but it can be so potent that after I wake up 
and I, you know, begin my day like I'm going to work, just a regular day. Now I am still, throughout the day, recalling this memory, and I'm still disturbed by it. And sometimes I keep thinking about it all day. Um, that can be annoying. <laughs> but of course, through more self-work, self-control, I can learn how, I could potentially learn how to just deal with that or, or somehow not let it bother me. But it's something that I've noticed, and it's not that common, but it does happen. And it really never happens. If I don't keep a dream journal and I live like I am right now and I'm not recalling any experiences, really, that just doesn't happen. It's not a part of my life. And there is the flip side as well. I can have really happy and uh, fun and positive and sometimes hilarious dreams. Or just a dream in which I, I experience this state of, I don't think it's comfort, but just a state of very, a profound state of well-being for whatever reason, whatever the reason might be in the dream. Maybe there was no reason. Maybe the dream was just me feeling that way in a beautiful space. Those can do the same thing, but in a positive way. Throughout the day or the following days, I can continue recalling that memory of that dream as I live my life, and it puts a smile on my face, and it uh, it uplifts me in a way, or I feel comfortable recalling it. I just wanted to record these thoughts that I had just now. Which is why, again, I'm recording, I don't think I explained it, but I'm recording just my voice because I'm in a space, okay, let me start from the beginning. I'm using my camera on my phone, normally, when I record videos. In the space that I'm currently in, as I have these thoughts that I wanted to share, in order to fit my upper torso and face in the video, I have to take the camera relatively far away from my mouth. And then when I speak, I feel the need to speak louder so that the microphone picks up what I'm saying. And in the space that I'm in, that results in a relatively high amount of echo. And there probably still will be some echo in this video. But I was hoping to reduce it by speaking very closely to the microphone. And I didn't feel like having just my nose and my eyeball in the frame, so I decided just to record audio only this time. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say right now, just sharing those thoughts about dreams. Um, I'll be back soon. Enjoy. Have a good day. <laughs>